It's new bike day. There's a new bike in there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yo, what's up everybody? It's new bike day and I'm super stoked. This is the new Ripmo AF, 2023 Ripmo AF. Picked it up from uh, <sighs> Jensen USA right there. Really great place for uh, Ibis uh, amongst other ones. Super fast shipping. I mean, it got here within two weeks. It was on sale, it was 25% off, so I had to scoop it up, of course. Let's just go ahead and open this box because I'm really stoked to see this bike. Ooh, baby. Those are some meaty tires. Okay, so I've never purchased a bike from Jensen USA before. Backstory, my first bike was a Diamondback, cheap, hardtail. That's what got me in, in the door. And then I bought a nice uh, Canyon Spectral straight from Canyon, uh, which is really great company to buy from as well. This is my first bike from Jensen USA. Yeah, so packaging so far looks great. Uh, let's start taking some things apart. Get this bike out of here. Let's get this tire out of the way first. Front wheel, oh, 29ers, massive. What are we stuck on here? Zip ties. Oh, they want to go scissors here. So these wheels are wrapped in the Maxxis Asa guys. I think that's how you say it, right? And they are 2.5 inch tires. So pretty thick boys. So let's put that aside for now. What's nice is that these companies pretty much assemble these bikes for you. All they do is just take the front wheel off and you have to adjust the handlebars and such. But for the most part, it's ready to go. Uh, there's a couple things in here we don't need to cut or unstrap here. So you can see it's coming through the side there to keep it from wobbling. Just a little Velcro strap. I like to save these because these are nice to have. Gorgeous. All right, we keep the padding on the front forks there. And what else is in this box? We can get it out of the way. Whoa, I'm gonna drop the new bike now. There's a bag down here. Ugh. There we go. And that's it. So let's get this box out of the way. Here she is. I'm like out of breath. Okay. Hey, bug. It's small. It's small? I don't think it's that small. Okay, can you do me a favor actually? Perfect timing. Can you come over here? Make it through the obstacle course that I just made. See this bike is falling over. Can you hold it for me so I can go grab the stand? Thank you, just don't let it fall over. It's small. It's small, you think that's small? <laughs> Say bye everybody. Thanks for the help. They don't listen. Don't touch the camera. Uh -huh. See ya later. <laughs> Velcro straps. Let's take the handlebar stuff off here. Definitely gonna get sweaty because we're in Florida and it's crazy hot and humid, but I can't wait. Dropper post already hooked up. Let's see if that work. Oh, something's going on here. Why is that not going up? Oh, there it is. Boom. Let's get this up here. There she is. Beaut, I already got sweat on her. I kind of really wanted the green one, but they were sold out of it. So I decided to snag the black one and I was in fear that they wouldn't have any more. And then I looked the other day and they had some more green ones in stock, but whatever. Black is great because you can do any color with it. So if you want to do any kind of color scheme with this, you know, black is a great color for that. It's okay, Jensen. You know, I wanted the green one, but it's, it's okay. So why the Ripmo? Why did I go with the Ripmo AF? Uh, for one, I went with the AF because it's more affordable. I don't make a lot of money, I'm not sponsored by anybody, nothing like that. So this all comes in my own pocket. And if you're like me, it's on a budget. Getting your wife to understand is also a task. The Ripmo I went with for a couple of reasons. One, I was sold on it. Many different YouTubers, but mainly Jeff Kendallweed. He does a really good job at it because he rides amazingly. And I aspire to ride like him. No, this bike isn't gonna make me ride like him. But uh, it was something I was looking for was getting into 29ers. This is what kept popping up as a great 29er to get into. The real big reason is I hate climbing and this has a DW linked suspension. This suspension is to be known for great at pushing you up the mountain. And that's what I was looking for. So that was a really big selling point for me. And I think this is a great way to get into 29ers and have an all around bike to pretty much take anywhere. Where is the money saved? Well, you got the Marzocchi, I don't know if I'm saying that right, suspension of components, which is basically Fox, followed by Fox. Air is on the rear, and this time they put a coil shock on the front, the Z1 coil. I haven't been on a coil shock since my first hardtail. They're saying coils are making a comeback. It's still a shock, it's still gonna function well. I mean, I trust the people at IBIS to know what they're doing. I think previously they had a coil in the rear and then a air in the front. So they're kind of mixing things up a little bit. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. I might need a little bit of derailleur adjustment, but those hubs sound pretty good. Sweet! Okay, so the Ripmo AF comes with a couple different drivetrains. I chose to go with the Shimano Dior drivetrain, simply because of input from riders online who tested this bike out. 
And they just say that the Shimano Dior just shifts so smoothly and it's just a great overall drivetrain system. So I said, sold. I got a medium size frame. I am 5'8", so medium was right in the range for me. So a couple other nice features is you have the frame guard protection on the bottom here, so you don't have to buy any aftermarket protection. You have a nice chain slap guard here. Frame protection, I didn't buy any yet. I probably should keep it from getting scratched up. That's gonna be pretty noticeable on black once you start scratching this thing. So, so enough of that, let's just finish putting this thing together. Since we already had the front wheel off, we need to jump into just making that tubeless. But also, I have some pedals. So what, we, what pedals did I get for this? There's a couple of different things going on here, which I just noticed that the, the Dior logo here has that oil slick kind of look into it. The bomber sticker here is purple. So you can go with a black and purple theme. Probably not gonna end up doing that. My idea with this is because of this, this right here, all the Ibis logos and everything are silver. So I wanted to go with a black and silver theme on this bike. My other one is black and gold. This one, I wanna stick to the black and silver. I wanted to find a raw pedal. And this is what I found is the Stamp 2s from Crank Brothers. These are sweet. If you guys could see this kind of concaveness to the pedal, so it'll sit more into it. That's what I'm looking for. This is something you don't want to mess up and if it feels like you're forcing it, stop. <laughs> Don't force it. But here's a little sneak peek of how that looks and that looks great. Super stoked on that decision. Before I do that, just to kind of keep the threads protected. Pedals are on. Looks is pretty much most of the battle there. So it's really what it's all about. It's really about looks, right? You gotta look cool. If you don't look cool, what's the point? Okay, pedals are on. What else do you do with the new bike? I guess we gotta go tubeless. Are they already tubeless? No way. It is tube, oh my God. Wait a second. This bike is already tubeless. Yeah, I just, I just checked and tube juice came out of there. <laughs> what? Since when do bikes come tubeless? They're always tubeless ready. They don't come tubeless. What is this? Is this Ibis? Or is this Jensen? What if I didn't want tubeless? <laughs> you kidding. Yo, of course you want tubeless. Look at this. I don't even need to change this. I'm gonna show you guys right now. Let's get closer. Look. What? I'm just kind of blown away right now. I did not know that these came already tubeless like that. This bike is ready to ride. Well, this bike day just got easier. What's next? Handlebars, they're definitely gonna be need cut because I don't think I'm gonna like them where they're at. Yo, it's hot, bro. Let's look at this shifting here. See if we can get this dialed in. All right, I'm gonna go right there. See how I like these bars before I cut them. So once you cut, there's no going back. I'm gonna like that for now. And then we'll have to adjust all these to the way we like them. So we'll take the bike down, go out there, and we'll also have the bed and the brakes and such. So let's go do that. Just a moment. This is a special moment when you take it off. Oh, we want to see how much it weighs, right? Let's see how much it weighs before we do anything else. Okay, let's see what the difference is. So let's get my weight. 158. Holding the bike. 194. 36 pounds. That's about right. That's what everybody says that this bike weighs about 36 pounds. That's pretty heavy. It just makes you go faster downhill, so I'm good with that. Oh, got a hole in my shorts. That's cool. First things first. It's handlebars. Feel terrible. I think they need to go way more up for me. Here we go. And this is the fun part, you know? I get it all dialed in, set up the way you like it. Preload. That feels pretty good right now. Let's get these brakes bedded in and mess around with this bike a little bit. All right, yeah, the handlebars are definitely too wide. I get that like a little bit too loosey feeling with them. This is exciting. Let's see what the drop proposed height is. Oh wow, it's like pretty much perfect. Yeah, dude. Well, that's it. Ibis Ripmo. It's really just gonna be getting out there, getting some ride time in, making some fine tune adjustments with the suspension on the trail, on the road. It's kind of hard to tell, but so far it feels really good how I have it now. It looks great. How does it look on me? Look good? Cool. That's what matters. Thank you guys so much for watching New Bike Day. I'm super stoked to get out there and uh, sweat my ass off in the summer heat of Florida. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.